All right, by far my favorite style of footwear for out in the woods and beating around the Eastern Center Seam Puckered Moccasin. I'm going to show you how to make them today and how to make the pattern, how to lay it out and stitch it all up. It's really nice because it's simple and it's not hard to make. I want to encourage anyone that's going to make them for the first time to make yourself a sacrificial pattern. The way I show you here, that way you can lay it out on your hide and then you know you're going to have enough material to work with and that way you can practice on this piece of denim here um, so you know it's going to work out for you. This is a very expensive material. It's not nice to mess it up so um, I definitely encourage you to do that but we're going to show you how to make this pattern so that's what I'm going to get started and do here. I'm going to draw it all out so you can actually visual, visually see what I'm doing. Now there's a couple different ways to wear these moccasins. A lot of times they're just there's just a little collar here at the ankle but I like I like my moccasins running high almost like a boot and I tie it all off so that way I'm giving myself lots of extra material on the sides here. Just imagine this is the side of the moccasin. So I'm going to give myself a lot of extra material there. So just think about that when you're making them. How much material they have to work with, what your needs are. I want to get this nice and flat. And what I did was I split the hide, found the center. That way I know I'm probably going to have enough to do the other half, the other moccasin. And then conveniently I have this piece and that's why I encourage you to do it because that way you can definitely make sure you don't have enough. So right there I'm about halfway. We have plenty of margin on the side so we're, we're good to go. So here we go. I have a black marker here so you can see and hopefully this is up in the camera. I should try to check that. Okay. So what we do is put our foot about where we want it. We've got enough on the sides. Okay. I'm going to make a, a rough center mark on my foot. Somewhere about the second toe. Center of the heel. Two fingers. Make a mark at that center point. Two fingers. In the back here, I don't know if it's on camera, I have one finger at the heel. One finger, you know, about an inch plus, a little strong. I, I go a little strong just because, you know, when you're stitching all up, you lose some size. But that's that gives you plenty. Two inches, two fingers. Side your center mark, mark it. Now, get yourself a piece of string. This is my shoelace. This is cut about an eighth inch thick. That's what you kind of want for your stitching. I like this because it's strong. I stitched the whole thing together with bucks and I know I'm not going to have a problem. Now we're going to use this like a roller. Find the widest part of your foot here by the ball of your foot, the side. Use your ruler. Get a circumference, a width here of your foot. Lay it out on your mark. Kind of keep it 90 degrees to your, your toe line here so everything's kind of square. Mark it out, which I did. Right here. Right here. You see that? Two marks. Kind of perpendicular to my center line doesn't have to be exact. This whole thing is flexible. But it gets us in the ballpark and that gives us the right width on our foot. Now we're going to take another measurement. Take a measurement back at the bend of the foot, at the heel, or at the ankle. Get a width. Right about there. Hold it out. Make yourself a mark, which I have here. In here. Maybe the, mark, maybe the marks are showing up, but this is so you visually can see it. I have a center margin here, and I have the circumference of my foot at these points. Now I'm just going to kind of, kind of uh, nicely going to just draw this out in a nice arch and connect the, connect the, that looks like a pretty nice, You see that? Looks like a pretty nice uniform bend. Now, I said I like to I like to 
uh, give myself a lot of material on the sides. So I'm just gonna, just so you can see this. All right, I wasn't really hitting the camera too well there. I wanted to show this what I'm doing here. I just want to give myself a, a little extra on the sides. So right here, get in the camera. Right here is the bend of my foot or bend of my ankle right here. Okay. Now I want to find basically half the half the width half the circumference of my calf. Just really roughly, I'll take my string again, go into the heel, center of the heel, center of the ankle right there, and bringing it down here at this wing here that comes up my ankle, or comes up my calf, and that gives me the width. I can mark it. It's pretty close to the end of the hide here. It's pretty close to the end of the hide here, so I might just, you know, leave that go and what I'll do is yeah I'll cut it just so you see so I have half the circumference of my calf there at that point mark it bring down like a 90 degree line here and here's my heel Bring this roughly a straight line, connect that, and I'll cut it so you can see. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to cut this half, fold it over, trace it so it's symmetrical. That's, that's just kind of being fussy, makes it a little nicer pattern. But now we can confirm everything that we just did. Lay our pattern down at that line. Looks pretty stinking close. I mean, this is just a quick one that I made. So let's cut this half out. I'll use scissors today. Cut it out on a. Make sure I have enough. Double check, make sure I have enough coming up the leg, which is plenty. That's plenty coming up the leg. I don't need, really need much more than that. And then cut back here. And don't be afraid to give yourself a little extra. You can always modify this as you're stitching it up. I mean, there's room to kind of adjust everything. This gets us in the ballpark. So right there where I'm cutting, that's at the bend of the ankle. Now I'm working my way up around the foot. And all I did was kind of make a uniform bend there, drew it out. Okay, so we're at center. Let's fold this over on center. Find the center mark at the heel. So this way, we're pretty much going to be pretty symmetrical now. Right there. Right there. See that? Let's draw that out. Like I said, that's this is just kind of being a little fussy, but it's nice to make yourself a nice pattern. There, you see that? Hope that shows up. Let's cut that out. Alright, how do we do? We have ourselves a center seam pucker moccasin pattern here. 
Now all we have to do is trace this for a second one. Pattern number two. Cut that out. I really, really enjoy these this style of footwear. Moccasins kind of kind of teach you to approach your environment a little differently. I mean, from a modern mindset, they're different than just like trekking around in boots or something like that. I mean, they really teach you to kind of be aware of your surroundings, your foot placement. I mean, that's just. That's just part of all this. They teach you to walk, walk more calculated. It's not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, if you're running around over rocks and stuff, boy, you yeah, you hurt yourself. But these are surprisingly rugged. I've had the pair I'm wearing now probably about six years. Still wearing them. Now I'm not wearing them day in and day out. I'm wearing them for the videos and stuff like that and they get wet they get soaked as you're out there just hang them up let them dry out and come back another day and they're ready to put on your foot again so there we have our two pieces two moccasins all this is good usable bucks in what you do you'd spiral cut this in your lacing I already cut some lacing ahead of time so I have it just to speed up this process we have all this buckskin to work with, and I'm going to actually use some of that later on in this video, so. Alright, so we have our pattern. Now, I'm going to mark this out as well. Now, I'm going to punch these holes. i got a board here. i got some awls. I'm going to punch these holes, but what I want to do is, what I want to do is, just so you can visually see this, what I'm doing. These are pucker moccasin for a reason. We're going to pull in a what I call a running stitch. I don't know if it's a true running stitch, but I'll show you. And it puckers the toe. I'm going to put my slits about half an inch apart, about a quarter, half inch from the edge, so you know, so it doesn't tear out. So I have my center mark here. You know, so visually you'd, you'd have maybe a hole here, a hole here, and I'll just punch it. I'll just eyeball it. I'm just doing this so you can see it. A hole there. So I have four there. I'm going to do these first four just to show you something. So there's my imaginary four holes. I'm going to, I'm going to number them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So we have eight holes. Let's punch those out. Now, I have some, should have some holes in here. There's one. Another one. I like this one now. Dear leg bone. Now I need something to whack it with. Alright. I got a whacker. So we're good. So these first eight holes, I'm about a half inch apart. Eh, maybe a quarter inch, a little bit more from the edge. I'm going to punch these holes in here. Just more or less eyeballing them. So I got the first eight holes. And when we stitch this up, we're going to stitch it up inside out like most patterns. We're going to stitch them inside out. So this is the outside of the moccasin. We're going to stitch it. Then we'll fold it right side out when we're done. But let's continue. 
I'll show you what these first eight holes are in a minute, but let's continue just punching our holes every half inch or so, and then I'll get back with you. So we're gonna go, we're gonna punch our holes all the way down till we meet basically our ankle. There's flexibility here, you don't have to tie it all the way to that point, but we're gonna punch holes all the way down till we meet our ankle. So let me do that off camera, try to save some time here, and I'll show you, we'll pick up from there. This is something you can do just so your holes line up. You just fold your moccasin over so we're good here. And I already established my first half. That way we keep everything pretty much running consistent. That's all there is to it. That was only about two minutes, so we have holes all the way around. We got them punched. Might have to expand them a little bit, I'm not sure here. And uh, so to get started here, flip this right side out so you're looking at the hair side. Now, it takes two laces to lace these things up. Now, they only have to be a couple feet long. I make mine long. It's probably about four foot long. It's kind of excessive, but I wrap all the excess around my calf. Now, we punched, we numbered the first eight holes. And our center mark is right here. So this would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Those are your first eight holes. What we're going to do is Take our first shoelace. I'm gonna find hole number one or eight, whatever way we're doing this backwards, it don't matter. I'm gonna get that through your first hole. I might have to open this up. through there. Now all I do is tie this off and not around the first hole. That's hole number one or eight, whatever way this backwards now but it's tie it off real good tie a knot in it now I'm gonna do I call it a running stitch I don't know if it's really a running stitch but we're gonna go in the next hole back out the next hole we're gonna weave in and out here. So here's hole number two. We're going to go in that one. And get it in there. Then I'm going to come back out, hole number three on the back side. So you just alternate it coming in one way out the next on the next hole. You do this for the first first eight holes and you'll see what happens. It, it it puckers the toe for you. And 
back out the next. I'll have to zoom in here so you actually see what I'm doing here. So we got two more holes to go here. Now just feeding these through with a piece of bone here, like a, a needle all thing, just a rammer. All right, so that's through our first. That's through our first eight holes. See what that did? See, so you're alternating, and when it pulls, it pulls it to a pucker, just like that. Now we're we're stitching this together. Uh, inside out right now. Now after those first eight holes you bring your sides together and you're going to continue the same pattern of stitching. Like I said I don't know if it's really a running stitch but it's going to go in here back out the other way in here all the way down here we go but now the only difference is now we're going through both going through both halves so we're bringing the the moccasins together now at this point right, I just want to close up show you what I just did you see that stitching pattern? First, first eight holes. I do eight holes because it gives my toes a little bit more room. And then you pr bring the sides together, stitch up. Now I'm going to turn this right side out. Kind of see what we're doing here. Where you could you could adjust these however you need to. You could pull some string, open up the toes a little bit. That's why these are very adjustable. I'm just stretching these out a little bit, getting them broken in. And as you wear them too, they're going to really take to the shape of your foot. So you can see how the toes puckered there. Now we're about halfway done. Still gotta do the back. All right, so we have the front stitched up. Oh, you can see that. Now we have to do the back. Beautiful thing about these pucker mocks is, is just like shoes, you can adjust them. You could pucker more in certain spots, make up the difference with the lace. Adjust the lace. You just loosen up the lace and that way you spread out the toe and get this thing just the right shape of your foot and as you wear them the buckskin stretches and forms your foot too. But that's actually a pretty good starting point right there. I'm going to leave them just how they are. I'm going to move on to the back here. Now the back we have our center mark. We still have our center mark laid out here. And What I'm going to do is I'm going to punch and mark just so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to do 
on either side of that line, about a half inch, half inch from the edge, quarter inch from the edge. I'm going to punch some more holes here. And we'll, we'll just mark the first maybe six holes. Holes one through six will tie together just like we did the toe. Then we'll bring the sides together and finish with that running stitch. So let me show you that. Now we have our second. This is all left over from the first lace. I leave my shoelaces long and I wrap all the excess around my calf. So now we grab ourselves another lace. Like this. And we're also going to finish stitching the back and side out too. So we have to flip this back inside out. Like this. Let's do this. Let's go work with it. That's good. So what I do is I the hole number one or six, wherever your first hole here. I'm gonna pull it through, I'm gonna tie it off. I tie the knot so it's on the inside so you don't see the knot. Okay, there. Pull your lace through. Tie it. So you don't see it. I'm tying this on the inside of the moccasin at the heel. Just a quick couple overhand knots here. Okay. You can cut that later if you want. Now, just like we did before, holes one through six here, I'm going to do that stitch right through each one. Just poke it through with your poker thing. Pull it through. And you're just going in and out of each hole. And as you pull it, it puckers that material behind it. So as I pull that, it starts to pucker or bunch up that material. And this is how you make up the difference in the size of your shoe too because you can adjust it. You could pucker more in certain spots. But right here, I'm forming the bulk of the heel. Which reinforces this heel a little bit too. Just poke it through there. Grab it. Okay, I got one more hole here. Alright, so you can see that. I just pulled that heel to a pucker, forming a heel, or kind of like a place for your heel there. Now the sides come together, and you continue that stitch, but now you're going through both sides. Now, this is where you can kind of stick your foot in there. I've done this in the past. If I want a really tight fit to my contour of my heel and calf, you can adjust your you can adjust your holes here. Maybe you want to come up inside a little bit with your heel and ride it. This is where you can kind of customize these to the fit of your foot. I'm going to punch a series of holes. And I'm just going to kind of I kind of did cut these to the contour of my heel. You see that it's not exactly a straight line it's kind of comes in at the at the heel so I'm just gonna follow my line every half inch or so punching them up a good ways you don't have to go all the way up just enough to get past your heel here maybe about halfway up I'll punch a series of holes and then we're almost done with this now I'm ready to stitch this up sorry puckered the heel now I'm gonna bring the two halves together 
by just joining them. Get my little pokey thing here. Try to jam that through there. There, now that connects the two halves. Now I'm just going to continue alternating like that. Now if I'll go in from this side. Through both holes now. Just like that. Now this is where I was talking, you can adjust, because I could I could pull that in a pucker there even. You can make up a lot of difference or variance in your moccasins by pulling them and adjusting the lace. And that's just all, you'll just play with that as you do it. You put these on like, oh I need a little bit more room here. I just adjust the lace, adjust the stitch. Alright guys, you can see that? I stitched that up about halfway up the calf. Or about to there, I should say. You can go all the way up if you want to. I'm just lazy. I usually keep it there because what I have is all this left over, these two ties. And that's what I'm going to use to tie these around myself. So I'll show you where we're at here. Hopefully this all fits good. So we're going to pull this right side out. This whole thing. And you'll see what we have here. We have the heel, toe, now we're right side out. We have all this leftover string here. Now I'm going to stick my foot in here and show you how I do this. See how we fit. So all you have to do is pull that tight, pull the heel, and this is how I wear these. I take all this excess, and you can come right up the front here if you wanted to tie it. You can cut this and make laces if you wanted. I don't. I just do this. I wrap all the excess around, and then I run this one the other way. Now I feel like my toe is a little, I feel like it's a little long for my toe, so all I have to do is this lace, pucker it more to make up the difference, make these a little shorter. This is where it's beautiful, I could just adjust these, I feel like I, it's a little long for my foot yet. View of the heel. Feel like it's a little big, so I'm gonna I'm gonna tweak the lacing. Okay guys, I just all I did was pull that lace, puckering the toe more, which shortened the whole moccasin, which gives these things an absolutely awesome look, I think. Then in the back of the heel, I just pulled the heel more, puckers the heel more, makes up, makes it a little tight around the heel. I wrap the whole thing around my calf, up my calf, and tie it off. Why I like these things? For one, they're super simple. They're one piece, two pieces of strong cordage, buckskin. They're very flexible. I could adjust them like I just did which adds to the awesome look of these things, that puckered look, but functionally that makes them also very functional because they, they're very highly adjustable. So I think it's an elegant look, but very simple and practical, which fits in with my 
philosophy here of using these tools. You can do this with flint and bone tools like I did here, the bone tools. But I think that's just really nice. I just have one more to stitch together and I'll have a set. guys. I'm going to do one more thing to these. It's optional depending on your area. Here it's pretty rugged. A lot of rocks and stumps and stuff and mountain. So I'm going to do one more thing. And all I'm going to do is with some of this leftover scrap. Ideally you could take rod from the neck meat if you want. But all I'm going to do is do an insole, a little pad that I could stuff inside these moccasins, give me a neck, another layer for my feet. So basically, all I have to do is trace around my foot and insert that into the, the moccasin. So let me try to maximize this scrap here. So I can probably get both of them out of this piece right here. So that's what I'll do. So be right back. Just put those in there, and we're good to go. Like I said, there's a couple variations. You don't have to leave these ears so long. You can just make short collared moccasins. I like tying them up around my calves. A little bit more protection. That's that's all. That's why I do that. I like a boot. Um, like I said, super simple design. One piece. You have your one piece of buck stick. Buck skin uh, lace. You can adjust this pucker, make it pucker more to adjust the length on these. Same thing in the back. So they're super versatile and super functional, but they're I think they look great. I, I love that pucker look. So give these a try and let me know how you make out. Thanks for watching.